how long's it been since we sat across each other like this? What's this? You share a black pie. No. It's yours and we're square. That's the deal, so take it. Business ought to stand aside for other things, personal things. Helen, girl, business don't stand aside for anything. And after losing Coover, I intend to weigh all my debts and accounts. I know you're struggling, but I pray you'll reject seeing the hand of fate in this. What else would you call it? 20 years apiece. 20 years we held it in our hands. The two of us. He had a job to do protecting the girl. That may be so, but I hurt. I told him to stay clear of you and your kin. And it happened just the same. What happens now is not with fate or history or God. It's with you. Raylan killed my baby. It's a terrible loss. There's no doubt. But if you take the privilege, where will it end? I don't know if it's design or accident gets these things started. What do we gain with soaking these hills with more blood? Lid stays on, at my word. Ms. Bennett, I want you to know how sorry I am for your loss. Thank you. Can't imagine what it would be like losing one of my boys. I wonder if it would be worse watching them grow up in a holler it's all choke dead, creeks all poisoned by slag. At least Coover went quick. I put my faith in you, Ms. Bennett. Your granddaddy and my granddaddy spilled blood to keep the companies from taking these hills, and then you give them away with a piece of paper. Oh, aren't you you familiar to... with the book of Isaiah? Slaughter the sons for the guilt of their fathers, lest they fill the world with tyrants. <clears throat> Wherever your boys grow up, do you think they'd be better off doing it with or without their daddy? You think about that next time before you open your mouth to me.